Hey Dons, are your searches not quite bringing back the results you're looking for? We'll go over some tools to point your search in a focused direction using our list of keywords. And if you don't have your list yet, you can go back to our keywords video to get started. Today, we're going to learn how to build a search string using Boolean operators, quotation marks, and parentheses to make sure our search target is laser focused. Say you have a long list of keywords to use and phrases from your topics field. What happens when you need to search with more than one of them at a time? This is where we can use Boolean operators to either narrow or widen our search, stringing together the terms with the operators in all caps we have, and, which tells the search engine that you only want to find results with all of the search terms included, narrowing your search, or, which tells the search engine that you want to find information with either search term you've entered, broadening your search, and not, which tells the search engine that you want to find information about the first search term, but nothing with the second, excluding any results with that term and narrowing your search. Many search engines will automatically put an and between your search terms. Using quotation marks in a search allows you to search for the exact words in a phrase. You think you're searching for college students, but you are actually searching for college and students. Using the quotation marks will make sure all results will have those words appearing as you typed it. This is a good way to narrow your search as this will decrease the amount of results you find. Warning, when you're using quotations around too many words, you'll likely narrow your search too far and not bring back enough results for you to use. You also want to make sure to use this on words you can reasonably expect to find in the literature from other authors. Remember the order of operations from math class? It's the same with searching. You can use parentheses to group search terms and specify which terms and operators get read first in your search string. With nested parentheses, the search engine will process the inside parentheses first and make its way outwards or left or right until this entire search query has been processed. If you want to use both AND and OR operators, use parentheses around the synonyms you're connecting with OR. In this example, we want results that are on social media, mental health, college students, or university students. To build the string, we will specify our population first, putting college students or university students in parentheses, then connecting it with mental health and social media, each in their own set of quotations. This will make our search directly honed in on our research topic. If you need more help with your research strategy, ask a librarian. We're here in person via 24 seven chat, email, and phone to help answer your questions or visit the reference librarians at the library 